Hello, Park Avenue Baptist friends. I am going to help us celebrate Easter by thinking about promises today. God always keeps his promises. Do I? I have a question for you. On the ground here, I have two yardsticks that are about two feet apart. I promise you that I can jump from this side to that side in one jump without touching. Do you think I can do it? Let's see. I did it! I kept my promise! What if I make my promise bigger this time? Do you think I can keep my promise to jump from this side to this side now? Let's see if I can keep my promise. I did it again! I kept my promise! What if I move my sticks here? Do you think I could keep my promise to jump with both feet from this side to this side? Let's see. Oh, I didn't keep my promise that time. Do you know the difference between me keeping a promise and God keeping a promise? I only should make a promise that I'm sure I can keep. When my sticks were really close together, I knew I could keep that. But when they're far apart, there's no way I would be able to do that. When God makes a promise, there isn't a promise he can make that he can't keep. If God says it, he will do it. God always keeps his promises. In Matthew 28, as we learn the end of the Easter story, Jesus has been crucified, and starting in verse 1, early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to visit the tomb. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. Then an angel spoke to the women, Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said it would happen. You see, no, how no matter how crazy the promise sounds, God always keeps his promises. He can't make a promise he can't keep. Happy Easter. Celebrate our promise-keeping God. Father God, thank you so much that you have always given us your word and that you have always kept every part. Thank you that you are a promise-keeping God. We love you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I think I can keep this promise. Let's see. Do you think I can keep my promise that I can get across here in one jump? Let's see. Ooh. Maybe not. I guess I didn't keep my promise that time either. So. Can I keep my promise? that I can't get a running start. So what if I tried, it's the same distance, what if I went from that side to this side? What if I got a running start? Let's see, maybe that would help. We don't have insurance. <laughs> nope, that didn't do it either. Okay.